Hey everyone, so today we are going to talk about mean or expected value of a random variable. So it is one of the very important statistical measure that one has to study or one needs to study when they play with data. Okay, other statistical measures are median, mode, variation, standard deviation, z score. So you need all this statistical measure as well. Mean itself is not sufficient. Okay, why? Because if you like see this following figure. In this case there are four data sets and in each case the data is distributed very differently whereas each of them has the same mean okay so only knowing the mean never help us it help us but not totally therefore one study other statistical measures other than mean so today we are going to concentrate only on expected value or expectation or mean of a random variable so what is it? It actually describes where the probability distribution is centered. Okay, so you have, once you have a random variable, you find its probability distribution and you want to see where it is actually centered. And how to find that? Then this is the formula that will help you. Summation of x into f of x. What is your x? It is the values that your random variable x is taking. And this is the probability distribution for each of these x. And you can take this from minus infinity to infinity. The same reason as, as I told you earlier in earlier lectures that wherever it is not defined, you take f of x to be zero. Okay, so now let us try to arrive at this definition. Okay, and then we will play with discrete and continuous case. But one should know that how we actually arrive at this definition. So suppose these are the set of points you have and you want to find the mean of this. So what you have studied in high school, what do you do? You do 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 9 plus 9 divided by total number of observation. How many are this? 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 11. This is what you do, right? Now let me rewrite it in a different way. So this is your mean. This is nothing but 1 times 3 or 3 times 1, whatever you like. 3 times 1. How many times 4 is coming? 6. So 6 times 4. And how many times 9 is coming? 2 times 9. Whole divided by 11. Now you separate your 11. Okay, so this is 3 by 11, 6 by 11 and 2 by 11. You just separate the denominator. Now what is this? This is your x. This is also your x, small x. And this is also your x. What is 3 by 11? What is the probability of choosing 1? So what you do? Total number of observations. So it is 3 by 11. Probability for 4 is 6 by 11. Probability for 9 is 2 by 11. So this is x into this is nothing but a probability only. So this is x into f of x. Summation. x is going from 1 to 3. I mean x is taking the value 1, 4 and 9. Or you can say minus infinity to infinity. Except at other than 1, 4 and 9, you take 0 everywhere. So this is nothing but the mean of a any data set so therefore this is how you this is how the definition is coming into the picture and why i'm telling you this because like when i was i started reading this i was thinking why suddenly this formula is coming like this is what we have studied the this is what we have studied the definition of average and here suddenly this formula is coming but then when i actually saw when i was actually thinking on this so actually they both are the same thing okay so that is how it is defined mean and I think now you have become pro. I mean, by looking at the earlier lecture, if this is the definition of a mu or mean for discrete random variable, what do you think will be the definition for mu? Mu means our uh, mean or expected value for the random variable x. So for continuous random variable, you replace your summation by integration. Integration minus infinity to infinity f of x dx. So this is for the discrete case. This is for the continuous case. Now let's take some examples and then we will go how to generalize this for higher variables like when you have more than one random variable. So here is the first question. So a lot containing seven components is sampled by a quality inspector. Now that lot contains four good components and three defective components. A sample of three is taken by the inspector. You have to find the expected value that means the mean of the number of good components in this sample. So your x is a random variable. So what is the possible value your x can take? Now the sample of 3 is taken. 0, 1, 2, 3. Number of good components. Okay, so either you will get 0 good component, 1 good component, 2 number of good components or 3 number of good components. 
okay so to find the expected value i should know the probability distribution because expected value is nothing but it tells you how the probability distribution for a given random variable is centered so you should know the probability distribution so out of 7 we have to choose 3 components so 7 choose 3 how many are good 4 are good okay so 4 choose x how many are left no 3 is left 3 choose 3 minus x and when x is 0 so you are not getting any good component all are getting all are coming out of the defective components when x is 1 that means 1 good and 2 defective when x is 2 2 good 1 defective when x is 3 3 good 0 defective so this is your probability distribution and now i think it's easy right so what is your mu or for x or another notation is e of x expected value of x so it is nothing but 0 into f of 0 so this will be 0 plus 1 into f of 1 plus 2 into f of 2 plus 3 into f of 3 so if you get time just solve and post the answer for the first question okay so i hope this is clear let's go for the next point now many times it may happen that the random variable x is taking values in some very nice way or it is following some pattern like it may happen that random variable x is taking the value 1 4 9 16 25 which is nothing but square right so what you can do is you can define a new random variable g of x equal to x square where x is 0 1 2 3 4 5 because it, our random variable x was taking the value 0 1 4 9 16 25 which is nothing but square of 0 1 2 5 right so you can define this as a new random variable so many times you may have that the random variable is taking the values in form of some functions so when you have such a thing then expected value of this random variable g of x is nothing but summation g of x into f of x so instead of small x we have some function of x okay so like it may be like g of x is x square and if some suppose now suppose some probability distribution is given to you whatever like for your x is your x can be 0 1 2 and 3 right so your f of x is suppose given to be 1 by 2 0 0.2 0 0.1 0 0.1 and one more say 0 0.1 so what that in that case we will do x square into f of x like g of x into f of x so 0 into this plus 1 into this plus 4 into this plus 9 into this plus 16 into this okay i will take one nice example but i just want to give you the idea that it may happen that instead of x you may have some function of x then also this formula is valid and for the for continuous variable it will be integration minus infinity to infinity g of x into f of x okay and the same thing goes for higher variables higher variable as in when you have more than one random variable on the same sample space when you have such a thing like suppose if f of xy is my joint pmf then what is your and suppose your g of xy is the random variable like here it was g of x so for joint pmf you have some another new random variable g of xy then what is the expected value of g of xy the same thing goes summation you do g of xy into f of xy you sum it over both x as well as y either you can write double summation or summation x is also varying y is also varying and for continuous case it will be double integration minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity when you have three variables again x y z like that the thing goes okay so that is one thing so here you had till one here you had till one variable then you may have two variables you may have three variables and the same theory goes on one more point suppose you have a joint pmf or joint pdf from there you want to find the expected value of random variable from joint so what you do is it is summation x into g of x now what is this g of x don't confuse with that here i am taking g to be the mar or let me take a different notation x into k of x what is k of x it is the marginal distribution for x with respect to this pmf so in earlier lecture we have seen that once you have a joint pmf how to find the marginal distribution so from joint pmf if the question is find the expected value for the random variable x 
you do summation x into k of x what is k of x this is the marginal distribution for x similarly if e of y is asked it is summation x into h of summation of y into h of y so h of y is the marginal distribution that you obtain from this joint probability distribution so this is how you find the expected value of a single random variable from the given joint probability distribution okay so i hope this is clear now suppose if you have three variables x y z and if i want to find expected value of x then this summation x into you do the same thing find the marginal distribution of x e of y same thing then e of z it will be summation z into some a of z so that's how one solves now let me take uh, two three examples so that this complete concept will be clear to you so here a joint pdf is given to you you are supposed to find the expected value for the random variable x now here you can see from 0 to 1 it is taking this value otherwise it is 0 so you can see it's a continuous random variable so in that case integration minus infinity to infinity x into f of x dx this is the expected value of x but everywhere it is 0 other than 0 to 1 so you have 2 by 5 this x into x plus 2 dx now i think this is simple integration that you have studied in your high school so for x square you have x cube by 3 and for x you have this so i think yeah this is what your answer will be so that's how one can solve the problem when you have a continuous random variable now here a joint pmf is given to you f of xy y is taking the value 1 to 3 x is taking the value 1 to 3 so now i want to first find mu of x so how to find expected value for a random variable x given pdf or a pmf right the probability distribution for two random variable so we know that we have just seen the formula it is summation x into the marginal distribution for x now x can take the value 1 to 3 so 1 into g of 1 plus 2 into g of 2 plus 3 into g of 3 now what is my g of 1 it is nothing but my x is fixed and my y is varying so i simply sum it up okay so what is that sum 0 0.35 right what is my g of 2 my x is fixed my y is varying so what is that 0 0.5 and what is my g of 3 again the same thing this is fixed this is varying so that is 0 0.13 now 1 into this so this is 0 0.35 plus 0 0.1 plus 3 into this 0 0.39 you sum it up you get the answer same way one can do for, do for mu of y which will be nothing but summation x in sorry y into h of y so y will take the value 1 to 3 so 1 into h of 1 plus 2 into h of 2 plus 3 into h of 3 h of 1 will be you fix this you sum it up h of 2 will be sum of this and h of 3 will be sum of this so from joint probability distribution this is how you can find the expected value for each of the random variable now suppose they ask you what is the expected value of x square then what will you do it is summation x square into f of x because now this is x square and the same thing works it is 1 into f of 1 plus 2 square so 4 into f of 2 plus 3 square 9 into f of 3 oh i should not take f i should take g because f is for joint pmf so this is what you have so instead of 1 2 3 you will multiply by 149 suppose if someone asks you what is the expected value of x y now here both the random variables are coming so this is summation x y because for x it was x only now x y so x y into f of x y you sum it over both x and y because here it is some function of x y so here joint pmf will come so what do you get now you take this x and y 1 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 into f of 1 comma 1 plus 1 into 2 is 2 so 2 into f of 1 comma 2 plus 1 into 3 is 3 3 into f of 1 comma 3 plus 2 into 1 which is 2 into f of 2 comma 1 plus 2 into 2 4 plus 4 f of 2 comma 2 plus 3 2 is a 6 6 into f of 2 comma 3 plus 3 into 1 is 3 f of 3 comma 1 plus 6 into f of 3 comma 2 plus 9 into f of 3 comma 3 
you submit everything you get the expected value of x y the product x y okay so depending upon what is given to you over here accordingly you take the value over here if it is only one variable you take the marginal if both the variables are involved you take the joint one okay so i hope this is clear so here are two exam homework problems for you so the first one is this is the uh, pdf is given to you and you have to find the expected value of this so you will integrate your function this into e raised to 2x by 3 and you will integrate from 0 to infinity here it is a joint pmf given to you you have to find the mean or the expected value of g of x where g of x is this so make sure you do comment your answer for these problems and if you have any doubt in this concept of expected value of a random variable you can ask me in the comment section thank you